amigos, feliz viernes, hoy es viernes, yo soy Rory y estoy contento de estar aquí contigo today. So, you don't get very far in a conversation without having to discuss something that happened or that went this way, went that way. The past tense is super important for everyday conversations in Spanish, clinical conversations, general Spanish conversations, whatever. The past always comes up no matter how much we try to forget it. All right, so today, estamos viendo regular preterite past tense verbs. Preterite past tense verbs. Okay, the, here's the deal. There are two past tenses in Spanish. There's the preterite past tense and the imperfect past tense. We'll look at the imperfect in a couple of weeks, but we're gonna we're gonna spend a few weeks on past tenses here in our video viernes lessons. So the preterite past tense, this image isn't just a calm, nothing going on scene, right? There's action, there's movement. Somebody's doing something. There's an event going on. This guy is jumping from one rock over to the next. That's what the preterite is. It talks about actions, events, things that happened, not just it was dark, it was pretty, there were a lot of people. Those are all just kind of descriptives, descriptions. That's the other past tense, imperfect. The preterite is events, actions, movement, etc. in Spanish. So that's what we're looking at today. Let's start with algunos ejemplos. Esta mañana, el paciente llamó a la clínica. So this morning, the patient called the clinic. La recepcionista contestó el teléfono y le hizo una cita. So the receptionist answered the phone and made her an appointment. Okay, so these are all actions, right? El paciente y su esposa llegaron a la clínica una hora después. So the patient and his wife arrived to the clinic one hour later. El paciente no comió desayuno. The patient did not eat breakfast. Él se despertó. He woke up. Y bebió una taza de café. And he had a cup of coffee. La enfermera y la doctora le hicieron unas preguntas. So the nurse and the doctor asked him some questions. Okay, all of these are event, action, right? Okay, no, it's not description at all. They're all movement. Things are happening. Él respondió a todas las preguntas y ellas entendieron el problema. So he responded to all the questions and they understood the problem. Okay, when we look at past tenses, because we have two of them, we kind of have to treat them like ser and estar. You know, the two verbs that mean to be. To be in this context or to be in that context. And that's going to choose your verb. Well, that's how we have to do past tenses. So... I like to use un acrónimo called SPICY to figure out the uses of el pretérito. So, usos, SPICY and el pretérito. S, specific actions completed in the past. Okay, we've been talking about that. Like, Julia comió tres comidas ayer. Julia ate three meals yesterday. Past actions and events that occurred one time. Su papá sufrió un ataque de corazón el año pasado. His father or her father had a heart attack uh, last year. Interrupting actions. So maybe something's going on and then something interrupts it. Okay, let's look. La familia hablaba y de repente sonó, or de repente el teléfono sonó. So la familia hablaba. Okay, here's the other past tense, imperfect. The family was talking y de repente el teléfono sonó. And suddenly the phone rang. Completed actions. El paciente recibió su primera dosis de quimioterapia en julio. So the patient received his first dose of chemotherapy in July. Yesterday, another preterite trigger. So a handful of words that would just sort of uh, trigger to you. Oh yeah, this is probably preterite. So ayer mis hijas recibieron su vacuna contra el VPH. So yesterday my girls got their vaccine against uh, uh, for HPV. Okay. So ayer would be one of those trigger words. Okay. Bien. So spicy is our acronym to begin thinking about. Okay, is this going to be the preterite past tense or the imperfect past tense? 
Again, Imperfect, if you want to learn about Imperfect, you got to wait a couple weeks. It's coming, okay? All right, so how do we conjugar el preterito? How do we conjugate the preterite? So variables a, r are going to end in a, aste, o, amos, and aro. Okay, a, aste, o, amos, aro. So respirar profundo, breathe deeply. So you want to say, I breathed deeply. Yo respiré profundo. Tú respiraste. Él, ella, usted respiró. He, she, or you formal breathed. Nosotros respiramos. We breathed. Ellos, ellas, ustedes respiraron. Okay, so here we see the endings attached on to the end of the verb after we've dropped the uh, AR ending, right? Okay, bien. How about verbos ER y R? Again, we have to drop the ending, but our, our uh, conjugated endings are going to be yo y tu iste, él, ella, usted, y yo, nosotros, imos, ellos, ellas, ustedes, y eron. And when I said we have to drop the ending, I mean when we take comer, we have to drop the er and then add these endings, right? So yo comí, tú comiste, él, ellos, usted comió, nosotros comimos, ellos, ellas, ustedes comieron. How about an ir verb like salir, the verb to go out? What's that going to look like? Again, we drop the IR ending and we add the conjugation. Yo salí, tú saliste, él, ella, usted salió, nosotros salimos, ellos, ellas, ustedes salieron. Okay, that's la conjugación. For, for regular preterite tense verbs, it's not that complicated. You drop the end, you drop the AR, ER, or IR, and then you add the conjugated ending. Okay, let's do some practice. And you're gonna to wanna to put me on pause so you have time to think, right? Make sure you get the notes, go to the blog post, print out the notes so you've got them here that you can refer to and answer these questions. All right, la doctora, llegar a la clinica a las seis de la mañana. We wanna say the doctor arrived to the clinic at 6 a.m. What do we do to llegar? First, we're gonna drop the AR and then add the ending that goes. So what's it gonna be? La doctora llegó. Okay. Ayer nosotros comer el desayuno juntos. So yesterday we ate breakfast together is what we want to say. So ayer nosotros comimos el desayuno juntos. We ate. Okay. Tú trabajar muchas horas la semana pasada. So you worked a lot of hours last week. Tú trabajaste. Hey, if you're learning something, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, because that is how we continue to do this moving forward, all right? Okay, ustedes, numero cuatro. Ustedes recibir los resultados muy rápido. Y'all received the results very quickly. Ustedes recibieron, recibieron. Yo perder peso el mes pasado. Not true for me. It says, I lost weight last month. Okay. No, it's la verdad. I wish. Yo perder peso el mes pasado. I, yo perdí peso el mes pasado. Él sufrir un ataque de corazón anoche. So he suffered a heart attack last night. Él sufrió. Okay. Julia comer tres comidas ayer. So Julia ate three meals yesterday. Julia comió tres comidas. Ayer sus hijas hablar con la médica sobre la vacuna contra el VPH. So yesterday, their or your girls, daughters, spoke with the doctor about the HPV vaccine. Ayer sus hijas hablaron con la médica. Yo caminaba. I was walking. Here's that interrupting action thing in this imperfect. Yo caminaba y de repente yo... And suddenly I, sentir, I felt un dolor fuerte en la cintura. I felt a really strong pain or sharp pain in my lower back. Yo caminaba y de repente yo sentí, sentí un dolor. Okay, so the conjugations are pretty straightforward. If it's an AR verb, e, aste, o, amos, aron, er, or ir, e, iste, yo, imos, ieron. Okay, para conversar con su compañero, talk about something that happened this past week, last month, last year, etc. Here are some ideas to get you started. Piensa en un paciente muy interesante. Maybe think about an interesting patient. ¿Por qué es tan interesante? Why is that patient so interesting? ¿Qué pasó durante sus interacciones? What happened during your interactions? ¿Qué resultado tuvo el paciente? So what result did the patient end up getting from your visit? And then, ¿qué pasó durante su primer mes o año de trabajo en salud? 
que ahora parece gracioso. So what happened during your first month or year of work in, in healthcare that now seems funny, okay? <laughs> All right, muy bien, preguntas. If you got preguntas, post them below in the comment section. And if you need a conversation partner, head over to the Learning Medical Spanish Facebook group. Put yourself out there. Say, hey, I want to work on past tense. Uh, who wants to be my conversation partner? All right. Okay, amigos, gracias por aprender español conmigo. Juntos mejoramos comunidades. Together, we really do make a difference in communities. Uh, para más español, make sure you're on the blog post, commongroundinternational.com. Head over to the website. Tons of great... Um, additional learning, free stuff for you, okay? Bien, if you want to take a free medical Spanish terminology test, head over to certifiedspanish.com, create your free account. You can take an unlimited number of free medical Spanish terminology tests. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Make sure you like and subscribe. That way we can keep doing this moving forward. Hasta pronto.